Welcome back. My name is Richard Schneeman. Last time we talked about RESTful and having RESTful routes. So we are going to see how we can wire up and map, use some controllers to map our um, routes to our views. So in Rails, our controllers are going to specify what uh, what view the user sees. They do quite a bit more than that, but just for now, that's kind of a, a simplification that uh, mostly rings true. So controllers specify what views we see. And we can use our routes to map URLs to controllers. So um, routes, again, are going to be a combination of HTTP method, HTTP verb, as well as a URL. Uh, let's take a look at an example of some routes. Um, this is going to be in your config dot or config slash routes dot rb file. Um, you might see a line that looks something like this. On the left hand side, this is going to be our HTTP method. So we're going to be using our git method with HTTP. And our URL or the path actually in this scenario is going to be just slash products. We are then telling Rails that the combination of method and URL maps to, so we have this hash rocket, so that maps to a controller and an action. So you haven't seen controllers before. Um, you know, we maybe worked with them a little bit on one of the uh, beginner Rails exercises, but we haven't taken an in-depth look at them. So what, what does a controller and an action do? Um, mostly we're going to focus on the fact that this is the index action. So um, the index action refers to the index.html.erb file. Um, generally, we, we can do some other fancy things with inside of our controller, um, but for just getting started out, um, the, the action maps to the view. Furthermore, this controller actually tells us where that view lives. So because it's the products controller, it's going to sit inside of the app slash views slash products folder. So again, the index action maps to index.html.erb. The erb got cut off there. And it's it lives inside of the products folder. So all together on the left hand side, we have our route, the combination of HTTP verb and our path, our, our URL. And this is going to map to our controller and action. So we're going to be using this in the exercise in just a little bit. So in this week's exercise, we are going to be combining together a lot of the elements that we've uh, we've worked with so far and worked with separately. So we are going to be actually taking some of those database-backed models and uh, putting that data uh, into our view. So we're going to be combining with, with, with our view. We're going to be generating some uh, routes, and those routes are going to be pointed at view files. For now, we're not going to actually modify anything in the controller, and um, this is just, I, I think, a good way to um, get started in terms of seeing all of the, the different moving pieces and having everything just right in one file that you can look at. Uh, next week, we'll probably look at, at taking some of that code out of the view and, and into a controller. Uh, but for now, just go to github.com slash schneems slash routes underscore controller underscore exercise. Um, I'll also post a link to this on my blog. So go ahead and give that a shot and uh, let me know if you're enjoying the exercises. The class thought it was a ball. Thank you very much and have a great day.